Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo na lang. Lakad mo na to. And then Bezellis do decide to go for the puck, leaving the Tusk then as their offlaner. And uh, Afu, not going to commit for it. Instead, still just taking quite a few beatings right now. Got an impetus up in one second. Just able to get the land, but the Fairy Fire is there to keep it alive. And in response, Summer with the raises just gets the kill onto Afu in response. Very, very nice damage. Here you go. Just every single time you use that spell, it's going to get dodged. Just can't really get any value out of this skill right now. Meanwhile, at the bottom, second death on the board there for the Enchantress. This kill right, he's still forced mid one miles away from the lane. Actually, Summer is also here. What the hell? This is not something you see from your position one. They're like, oh, cool, look, my position five. He's making space. He's probably going to die. But, hey, that's room for me to farm. But instead, he does actually decide to come and try and help. Well, there was the overcharged tag team combo. But even though they're both level two, the strength more from CDR was... Enough to actually just allow him to tank through it. He spent the blast. He might just try and go for the kill. He's close. Oh, we'll decide against it. Meanwhile, I was looking at that down at the bottom lane. Summer goes down. Rotation comes in there from Boomy. And it ends up being too quick. Easy. This kill onto CDR. They can catch him unawares. Obviously, Dream Coil into the silence follow up. But Tizzy maybe just scared him off a little bit. Still gonna get the silence of the strength wolf is coming in. The tag team's doing a lot of damage, but even so he turns into the puck himself, trying to disengage, but just doesn't turn it on. Was he silenced? I suppose he was actually dream cord, wasn't he? So he couldn't actually uh, jump to But you know, you need the uh need the uh, aura to be able to affect buildings for that to actually really be that impactful. Maybe get a couple more damage items himself. Uh, meanwhile the tree does just die again at the bot lane. Maybe they can actually rotation to the bot for that. Putting a bit of pressure on towards the uh, support. Meanwhile, at the top lane, CDR gets taken out this time. Once again, missing kills. That's what I think, perhaps. Didn't really want to risk it. He wants dead. Pinging out to Gold Spoon. Relocate also coming in. Winter Wyvern in some danger. Can he get the old off in time? It does land. Some are now beating into his own off lane. That's a lot of damage with the Axis coming from mid one. They do take him down. Roar is there, but not enough to cancel the Rec Room. But so is the Overgrowth. But even still, it's just full disengage there from LBZS and the Treant getting caught from the slow there from Apu. Can he get himself away? No. <laughs> no, they cannot. I think the, uh, that purge, I mean, what, no CDR, he actually finds some mid TP, the SF. I think all he can really do is try and just delay the inevitable. There's no way you can survive this one. Actually, there is a relocate coming in from the IO, but it's just not going to work. And now. Potentially, Zumi's is going to die as well. He's trying to TP out, and the Raw will guarantee the kill. A little bit of a misplay coming out there from the Radiant squad, losing their carry position four as well in quick succession. And also, Moon just got a solo kill onto the tree protector in the mid. Even uh, Dolphin and the Tusk go into the back lines. So they will find the jump on towards the Enchantress. What's up down to low ground? CDR now getting aggressive. Was never said us to disengage. Summer fake pump with the rec room right now. We will just commit it. But he turns into the puck of face shift. Dodges it. What a play. Instead, though, is Boomer that gets caught. His egg scrambled. There's no one to protect it. But even still, it looks like LBZS are in retreat. Or are they? Turn around. They're trying to burst down mid one. He will fall. Full kids are going away. Aegis already popped onto the Morphling. But Moon has respawned in time. And he has his ultimate available. Looking to see if he can find the right target. Summer in danger. Summer is dead. Tree protector trying to hide in the trees. It's just not going to work. The high ground ward is there. And CDR just whack the lead of net worth. So their kills would work, or their deaths would work more. But still, we've got to go on top. Meanwhile, Dolphin, Tizzy, they have just found the Phoenix dead straight off the bat. But there is going to be the Wind's Curse. Locking down the Tusk. He's taking a lot of damage there from the uh, uh, puck and all the illusions. But still, Tusk is dead. Moon in danger. But with the cold embrace, will be fine. Can't say the same for Zumi. And Dolphin. Gonna try and wane and riff up to the high ground to hold on to skills for as long as possible. Blink, jump. They think he's on the high ground, but he's not. He actually hides behind it. Which is really nice. Uh, oh, overgrowth lands onto the creeps. Not quite the glab they want, but still the shards will get the connection on towards mid one. He's in danger. Tries to do something, not gonna work. BKBs get popped from Summer Sand the ground. They've killed Boomy. CDR has to just go for the waveform away, but LBZS are not gonna give up the chase. Turns into the puck. 
That should be enough to get CDR away. Snowball forwards. Can't dodge that one. Punch. Oh, he did have the mana for it. Okay, CDR will go away. Hey, how? Why did it do the animation? Used it. And with the Kappa Wave, they can be able to do a lot of work. Dolphin with the Dream Core collects onto two. Tusk jumping in as well, trying to lock down onto Big One. But damn, just look at those heals coming in from the Enchantress and the Phoenix. The heal combination just too damn strong. Tizzy in danger, taking a lot of damage. A few right clicks from Summer came in quite late there. That looks weird as hell. But even still, he will just about die there to Moon. Look at the dot damage coming in. He will fall. Tree Protector getting spot. And these long range hits there from the Arctic Burn doing the ability to just completely ignore the Winter's Curse as well as the Raw is going to be a very, very nice sort of added boon to keeping him alive. I mean, we do see this five man smoke move here from LBZS. Breaks on towards the Enchantress, gets connected on by the smoke, but still trying to chase after right now. There is the purge coming out. Dolphin trying to get involved. Punch onto Boomy. Kills the Phoenix before the egg can get dropped. But Zumi get traded off. Summer popping out the Wreck Room. But CDR with his BKB activated, not caring about it whatsoever. The relocate from the IO coming in to help assist his carry. There is going to be a Raw making a bit of space, but the Tusk once again getting the connection onto the Morph and the Strength form, though, as well as the heals coming in for Cold Embrace. He's keeping the Morphling alive. There's just too many heals on this team. They can't kill anyone. Uh, the puck is silent, stunned up, pushed off to the side. Summer just dies at the back lines there to Moon and the assistance of the Phoenix. And it looks like Dolphin will get away. And SMG, that is like, yeah, let the puck go. There's no way we're going to catch it. And it looks like doing some decent damage. The Glyph is finally forced out. The Witness Curse gets the connection on towards the Tusk. Is there going to be enough first damage? They pop the Lincoln Sphere on Dolphin, followed up by the Raw, but still the Tusk survives, able to get the Snowball off to keep his mid laner alive. Tusk unfortunately still will fall. Dolphin in full retreat. Does the Egg pop to get the grab? It does! He doesn't actually jump to the Orb in time. He is gone. No buyback as well for 65. The True Protector just gets ran out from the uh, Winter Wyvern. There's no way you can escape that long range attack push as much as possible, but. It's just not going to make that much of a difference. The tier 3 just gets torn to pieces way too quickly. Summer is here. Whacking onto the uh, balls of a far, but the witness curse lands on Tashumi. Easy kill onto the IO. Jump forwards as well. Tizzy haven't taught the BKB to run away. Meanwhile, Summer stands his ground. Does at least manage to find the kill onto Moon, but he's on his own. Requiem, can he get it off in time? He will. Super low HP in mid one, just with the blink dagger forwards. They find the kill. Mega creep secured and LBZS. They tap out. And that is SMG taking game number one of this best of two series. Well, it was can make it really awkward and just kite around them in the team fights. SMG, they go for the Weaver. Wait, so who, who's mid? It is mid Weaver. Alright. Absolutely massive. Someone's gonna have to try and uh, last hit underneath the tower. Sometimes not the easiest for Alina. Yeah, he will have to do. So yeah, even though Dolphin isn't netting a kill with this sort of play, it's still really good damage, you know. They're actually just going to make a move and... Okay. <laughs> I think I just cursed him, man. I just... Snapfire wants to try and deny it away. He's not going to get there in time. Does just about get the slow there with the Scat Blast. Cookie onto the Weaver. And he is going to get the Retaliation kill there. So Weaver... Ends up tying the board here, one for one in the mid lane. See, not too short. It's the rune spawns, both supports there from SMG guarantee it for the Weaver. And they will manage to get a DD rune. Meanwhile, yeah, he does go for this rotation. Dolphin, CDR has just been caught by the flame in Lasso. Don't think there's any real way that the, uh, that the Sven can escape death on this one. He's wasted as much time as possible. And that's really all he could hope for. Meanwhile, at the same time, Moon was able to get his own kill. But it is just onto position five, so definitely a favourable global trade there for LBZS. Although Zumi actually is going to make it a two for one double kill there for Moon, so maybe they're actually going to be happy with this trade. Dolphin trying to poke on towards the Snapfire and does actually manage to find it. Looks like CDR actually. They run down there from the Broodlings. They're going to try and dive into the tier one for this. Oh, my camera keeps flying down to the south wall. I want to watch this, damn it. He runs into the Earth Panda, sets up for the stun. CDR, bushwhack. Yeah, for good measure. Let him get the kill. Will they like him? Moon, though, diving past the tier one. Bushwhack connects. 
the easy time lapse. We'll try and get out, but the catch is there for Dolphin. Gets the flame and lasso while he's escaped. Still two more seconds for the other Kisses. Uh, not Wolves Kisses. Sakuchi, but talking about the Wolves Kisses. They rein in. Find the kill on Tajumi. So that was Gnome. But SMG currently with the numbers uh, advantage. Four people are dying in danger. Drops the tombstone, but Moon's just going to focus down to it straight away. He'll still call. They need one more tap to get rid of it. <laughs> that is gone. Cookies forwards on towards the brew, trying to get the ult, but it's not going to work. The telekinesis stops it. Dolphin now also getting involved. The shapeshift has been used for mid one, but he's blocked through the trees. The damn supports are in the way. Dolphin in danger, still no flame break, or firefly, sorry, for a few more seconds. As a result, he just dies. Jumi hiding in the trees. Cookie does spot them with the vision. Eventually, the squirrel will die. Three kills there from SMG. They don't lose anybody. Meanwhile, another tier one tower falls. More space there for SMG across the map. And it looks like they have found the Undying. Mortimer's Kiss is flying through. They've actually found Summer as well. This is a huge target to get. Loads of the Kisses land onto them. It will fall. Boomy turning into a zombie of his own. There is going to be the Primal Spit. The uh, nice cookie usage there to get Boomy out of danger. But still, the rock throw, the follow-up damage. Another sharp shoe into the face. Boomy does die. Cyclone just... Holding back the Weaver for now. I don't think there's any real setup that S uh, that they could do to try and take him down. Be more dizzy. Now he get poked upon himself. Cookie does land, denying the retreat. A few more hits is all the Moon is going to require. Eventually, we'll find that kill. And that he does. I think that was another three for one exchange there from SMG. Obviously, the big. No one's close enough, so they will just straight up TP out. Undying is going to die. Jumi in full retreat right now. The zoo army getting blocked up there from Booby. Mid one's like, just get the hell out of my way, damn it. Jumi gets spotted. Trying to run close to the trees to maybe get the mischance. Going to be pushed back up in a second. Does land onto the creeps, but not onto the actual uh, lichen itself. This mischance, though, is so damn strong. Trying to TP out, but my lord. That damage is absolutely disgusting. And mid one, though, now in some danger. Doesn't he have brown boots to be super slow? Cookie actually chuck it onto the Thunder High. Big old play coming out there. Rafu ends up giving them the free double. Elsewhere, Tizzy also got ran down. I think he was trying to come in to assist his other two uh, teammates. Cookie onto the wolves again. Look, at this just the creeps alone. They're doing so much of this work. Moon comes in for just a couple final touches. Absolutely stupid stuff, and Moon, he's just so confident right now. Diving past the tier 3s, does manage to dodge out the LSA, even getting the kill on the ones for us to see it. No, he's taking it away. Damn it, queue it back up mid one. <laughs> I want to see this item, damn it. Even still, MBZS coming in with the smoke plate. Want to try and take away the Roche. He's got an uh, BKB to use, but he just does not last long whatsoever. He is dead. Hoodwink's also going to die. The Lil Shredder making quick work of the tombstone. They just drop like flies. And in all honesty, I would not be too surprised. Like, they'd have to play proper guerrilla warfare style Dota 2. Just constantly, like, roaming as, like, a 4-5 man unit. Get one kill here, one kill there. We're talking about one kill. It looks like Summer's just going to die. More of kisses. Just to guarantee it. The victory out it is. But to be honest... I don't know, I kind of feel like LBZS aren't too unhappy with that. They got the free Aegis. Meanwhile, looks like Dolphin, though, has just been caught. He pops the BKB, he just doesn't survive. That's two BKB charges used for about a total of two seconds. Just getting zero value out of this item. Can't, yeah, the physical damage is way too much in this game. So they trying to make space for the tier 2. We'll cast the armor. Meanwhile, Glepner comes out to move, but again, his own PKB gets popped. He's going to charge straight forward, focusing down onto Summer. Meanwhile, mid one with his own like form pop. The Undying is dead. He's just going to charge up to the high ground. Actually, might turn to go for the uh, the pandas instead. Just the straight one. Earth one, sorry, but looks like he might die. Healed up there, coming out from the mechanism. And that's just the space he needed to disengage. Some of those TP back in aggressively. With the Glepnir connection, they get the grab on towards Apu. He is gone, but Summer maybe going to get punished hard for this right now. Because, of course, it's the stolen brutaling form. Didn't even make note of that one. But it's due to good effect. Tizzy does die. The Rubik actually getting picked off there as all the brutalings do get uh, taken out themselves. 
Another god strength here from CDR. Do they want to keep pushing high ground? Or do they just fall back? Nice pushback. Lands into mid one. Looks like Dolphin thinking about trying to go for more. He could have actually potentially gone for that. It seems like everyone else really are disengaged. Or have they? CDR's coming back in. With the Ulmer still in. To try and bring down the Undying. Trying his best to survive. Drops down the Tombstone. But it's literally like, here you go, guys. Have an extra 175 gold. Uh, Dolphin popping his BKB. Finally able to survive more than uh, like three minutes where it's 100%. We'll have a look at that. Down the bot lane. CDR actually gets picked off. Someone takes a lot of damage, but still is going to be able to survive. But now it looks like SMG actually in some danger right now. Maybe we're going to pop down his ult, but Moon now getting involved with a double damage rune activated. It's going to be a lot of hurt. The damn Snapfire is still alive. Eventually will die, but it doesn't even matter. It's just a big old bait. Jumi going to try and scurry away into the trees. The Undying, unfortunately, doesn't have that capability. He will die. Jumi still gets picked up. It's a five-man wipe. Sure, they lose their carry, but who cares? <laughs> It's that by despise bat. He's like, I want to get involved with the final little bit of the game, but LBZS already called GG. And SMG, they actually end up taking this best of two in a very clean 2-0.